years since we installed these wall connectors. There are now three wall connectors and we have five Teslas. If you guys have seen the 2021 video that I made getting this wall connector installed, we were actually told after buying our 2021 Model Y long range that our house basically cannot support 60 amp breaker to get 48 amps to level two charge the car. We were only allowed to have 20 amp breaker. Now having only one Tesla with level two charging, that was actually not that bad. It will take a lot longer to charge the car, but then we ended up purchasing our 2021 Model 3. We were using the wall outlet with the 110. It was getting the job done as long as it was summertime and we weren't driving much but then when we picked up this model x now we have three teslas but as soon as we plug in two of the teslas at the 110 outlet pretty much the breaker would drop no matter which outlet i would plug in in the garage the breaker would drop we would not be able to charge two teslas with the slow chargers at all only one now that's a problem we got three cars being driven all the time especially in the winter time we needed to find something out now if you do look right there our house is pretty much on a lot where the electrical box and everything is but in order to bring 200 amp service to our home it was going to cost tens of thousands of dollars for the electrical company to come up and dig this up and then run a 200 amp service upgrade underground to our basement which was definitely not reasonable so pretty much having all the issues with charging three cars at the same time i ended up contacting the electricians they were the yyc power the same company that first installed this they're like a family-owned business this is not a sponsored video whatsoever it just i've had great experience and they were able to help me out and that is why i am still crediting them we do have this pvc line this was the first installed that's coming from the basement and then it was pretty much coming to this wall connector however they ended up installing this box right over here that pretty much splits the power this right here is the main wall connector this is what's pretty much powering the other two wall connectors. this is what makes everything possible this is the main wall connector this is where it's all programmed then it pretty much splits power to down here and then it connects to this wall connector and then right above here it goes all the way there and then pretty much comes down to this wall right here now the cool part is that all three of these wall connectors are pretty much on one 60 amp breaker you may ask you were just saying that you cannot install a 60 amp breaker to your electrical panel because you only have 100 amp service well that's only until yyc power was able to figure out that they can just pretty much install a black box unit right next to my electrical panel in the basement which pretty much prioritizes the house first and then the cars second so when the house needs a lot of power the charging stops on the cars but then when the house doesn't need all that power it ends up sending the power to the cars so now we have 60 amp breaker that is pretty much splitting all the power into three wall connectors so if we plug in the one car it will give us 48 amps of charging if we plug in the second car it'll become 24 amps of charging on each car and then if we plug in three cars then it will be 16 amps of charging per car one car finished charging the other ones become 24 amps and then two cars finished charging the one left will have 48 amps but as soon as the house needs power it pretty much kills all the cars and none of them are charging this here is the 2024 model 3 and it's the real wheel drive base model and this one in particular it can only charge at 32 amps it cannot charge to 48 amps because this does not have the big battery pack the maximum amp we can get is 32 amps so when we have this charging at 32 amps i can pretty much set this other model 3 to 16 amps and it's going to charge this at the maximum speed and then still give a little bit of charge to that one so we'll go and grab this connector right here we'll go ahead and push this opens up and then we'll plug this in and again, this is the main wall connector and it's power sharing with this one as well as this one. So that connector is power sharing wirelessly with those ones. They're connected with a wire, but they're programmed power sharing with this one and that one. This Model 3 is charging. Let's go ahead and get inside. And you can see right over here, we're at 57% battery and the car is charging at six kilowatts an hour. It is 24 amps. Now, if we go over to this Model 3, this is also charging at 24 amps. Now it is at full charge, 100%. That's probably why it's showing only this amount of ampage. If this is 22, then the other one could be 26. And you can see now that's charging 26 amps, basically splitting the power right there. Just one stop charging because again, it's fully 100%. So to make this example much better, let's plug in the Model X. I'm gonna unplug this. 
And because I unplug this, if we go over to the Model 3, this will now get 48 amps. So you can see them actually ramping up right here. So 40, 42, 48. And that's because this is the long range Model 3. I will plug the Model X, 78% battery, and it is getting 17 amps out of 17. And this might end up uh, ramping up a little bit. As soon as we unplug this Model 3, the Model X will get the entire 48 amps, as you guys can see right there there so now let's get this car plugged in as well as this one come on and now as you guys can see this one's getting 16 amps this one's getting 13 amps and the model x is getting 17 amps so what i'm gonna try to do now is i'm gonna get the air conditioning turned on because as soon as that turns on or let's say the dryer turns on it pretty much turns off all of these chargers. Turned on the AC. Let's see if it's going to turn on right away. And as you guys can see right there, all the wall connector just basically turned off. So AC is on in the house and none of the cars are charging. It's pretty much restarting. As you can see with the blue light there, it's trying to connect to the car. All right, blue light right there blue light but because the ac needs a quick power to just start running sometimes with the ac the wall connectors are still working the ac is on this one's charging the model y red is not charging and the x is not charging either but this one is still sending some power let's see if the other ones will start charging but oh there you go that one's going too now you can see with the ac on they're still working right now after restarting because the AC needed a lot of power to kick in, but then when it starts running, I guess it doesn't need all that power. So the cars go back into charging. But then occasionally, while the AC turns off because it gets to the set temperature and then it kicks back up, all of this stops charging again. But you can see it's such a smart system. Another cool thing about this wall connectors, guys, is that you basically can have your charger security on which means this outside one let's say right here it's accessible to anybody like anybody can come up and plug in their tesla if they wanted to when they see this charger but this charger only works on our teslas it does not work with any other tesla in fact if i bring a loaner car from tesla and i plug it in none of those works so you go inside the wi-fi settings on the wall connector and you set a security where only the vins that were trying to charge previously so you plug in your car it shows up the vin you select those vins to be able to charge with your wall connector and then let's say the inside ones those are open like you can charge any car but this outside one because it's always accessible it will not be able to charge any other tesla so that's pretty much the installation of the wall connector power sharing for our five teslas once one of the cars are done charging we take turns we plug in the other ones and it's so nice that it's such a smart system that one car finishes charging it starts sending more power to the other one it's an amazing system so if you guys have more than one tesla 100 percent go with the power share this installation was not cheap. I'll show you guys how much we ended up paying for the whole setup, including the first time. And here's what the black box looked like, you guys. It is called the black box electrical energy management device. And this is connected to this thick wire that goes all the way into the garage. But that's the black box system right here. It is connected to the control panel. We open that up. We have our 60 amp breaker. So that's the cars. And then we also have this 40 amp breaker. That's for the air conditioning. And you can see we do have 100 amp service. So now I'll turn on the AC from here. And then let's see the sound that this black box makes. And that click right there is pretty much the charger stopping. I also got notifications from the cars that they stopped charging. And after that, you can see the breaker is still on. It did not trip whatsoever. So it's all done automatically with this black box. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing and I'll see you guys in the next one.